New Year's Eve 1923, and the creme de la creme of St. Louis society gathered at the city's newest and chicest hotel, The Chase in the Central West End. Guests paid $10 to spend the evening in the elegant palm room, to dine, dance to the music of Paul Whiteman's orchestra, and discreetly sip fermented beverages from hip flasks. It was a delightful evening, until the cops came. The police went table to table, looking underneath napkins, looking underneath uh, tablecloths, looking underneath clothing, and then all hell broke loose. There were three police officers and, and a couple thousand people here for that event, and I think the people just banned up and pushed them, and pushed them right out the door. The police were probably a little intimidated with what was happening and, and, and in an effort to try to protect themselves. A pistol was discharged and uh, into the floor, ricocheted off the floor and, and uh, wounded three people. The fireworks started. About 250 people fueled with righteous indignation and spirited enthusiasm through plates, bottles and punches, driving the police out of the hotel onto Lindell Boulevard. They retreated and the party continued until dawn. It was an evening that did not bode well for the noble experiment of Prohibition. Prohibition, a new film by Ken Burns and Lynn Novick, beginning October 2nd on 9PBS, underwritten in St. Louis by Webster University.